brings us over to Mr. <laughs> Mr. Paul F. Tompkins' uh, uh, piece for us. Now, are you going to talk about the homeland security? I know, I know they're trying to do a good job, right? They're trying to give us protection uh, for our active 24-hour lifestyle, just like a good tampon. And uh, <laughs> they're just not doing a good job, are they? Well, no, we're at Code Orange right now, and uh, panic is the new black. <laughs> It seems that everyone in America has gone plum loco waiting for the next terrorist attack. It's like when you're trying to go to sleep on Christmas Eve, if you know that when you wake up on Christmas Day, Santa's going to pour anthrax into your eyes and ears. <laughs> Some feel that Secretary of Homeland Security Tom Ridge hasn't helped anyone feel especially secure by telling us all we can really do is duct tape our windows shut. <laughs> now, this didn't really put anyone at ease because we still use our brains for thinking. On Sunday, Ridge elaborated that when he told everyone to buy duct tape as a precaution against terrorist attacks, he didn't mean to suggest we start using it right away. Stash away the duct tape. Don't use it. Stash it away. <laughs> oh, it is funny. So there you go. You have to buy it and hide it. Why don't you... Maybe you should put it in your mattress with your money, because you don't trust no big city bank know-how. <laughs> yeah, a series of public service announcements featuring Ridge and assorted firefighters, policemen, and emergency workers has begun airing, urging citizens to prepare, not panic, like this lady is doing. Things that we are facing or that we're possibly facing, we don't know where, we don't know when, we don't know what. They're terrifying. However, if you think about ways uh, that you can protect yourself, it, it helps you feel like you are in control. We all know the feeling of confidence that comes with hiding. Remember, America, when you cower, the terrorists lose. <laughs> now, here's another reason not to leave your house ever again. <laughs> Twenty-one people died in a Chicago nightclub when a stampede started, allegedly due to fear of a terrorist attack. What happened was there was a fight between two women in the club, and one of the women had a box cutter. Now, that's not the terrorist part. That's just a delightful coincidence. <laughs> and uh, security guards used pepper spray to break up, break up the fight. Now, other people were affected by the stuff, they couldn't breathe, and everybody panicked and rushed for the door. Survivors say the panic started because folks in the club yelled, terrorist attack and poison gas. One frightened Chicagoan yelled, Mrs. O'Leary's cow. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's take it easy. So, so in the end, it's come to this. Everybody's so on edge these days, you can't even take your lady out to a nightclub for a simple box cutter fight without the threat of terrorism ruining everything. And there you have it, though.